The Assembly Committee for Agriculture and Rural Development has just published its report on the proposed reservoirs bill. We asked the committee chairperson, Paul Free MLA, why we need specific legislation to control and manage reservoirs. We have to bring in uh, regulations for reservoirs because we have an issue whereby uh, here in Northern Ireland we do not know the potential uh, for a breach of a reservoir. In England, Scotland and Wales there is regulation and legislation to cover that and that has been in for some time. Northern Ireland does not have that uh, legislation and that's why the Rivers Agency are now looking at uh, legislation to cover that in Northern Ireland. The committee bill report has underlined a number of key concerns, including the need for an audit on the current condition of reservoirs, which will fall under the new legislation, and the financial implications the requirements could pose for reservoir owners. The committee chairperson told us more, including why it's important that the term reservoir manager is clearly defined. It is important that the reservoir manager is clearly defined because in many scenarios we have different ranges of reservoir managers and owners. We have private landowners, uh, farmers who simply have a water feature on their land. Uh, we have uh, reservoirs that are used as lakes for fishing uh, and maybe an angling club owns it and manages it. Uh, and then there's other non-for-profit organisations, charitable groups that basically just have a, a scenic uh, reservoir on their land uh, and they are good at what they do but they don't manage a reservoir and they don't have the technical experience and ability to, to actually see if their reservoir is in good condition. Uh, so it's going to be very hard and we have to be very careful uh, that we don't burden people uh, and organisations to the point where they go out of existence and then reservoirs that are uh, of, of great interest to the community uh, go disappear. The committee report makes it very clear that this legislation must be balanced. We asked the committee chairperson to tell us why. What, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the issue at hand which is the regulation of reservoirs in this country that have never been regulated before uh, is done in a way that secures the safety of the population and the community downstream uh, but also places on it uh, not too much of a burden to the reservoir manager and or owner of the, the land that the reservoir is on. Uh, so there's a fine line there and a balance to be had. Uh, what we need to do is, uh, what Rivers Agency have to do is find that balance and that's what we're here to do is scrutinise the work and the actions of Rivers Agency and DARD uh, with regards to this legislation. One of the most important issues raised by the committee in its report is the need for the Rivers Agency to carry out a detailed survey of reservoirs. We in the uh, committee, the art committee who are scrutinising this uh, legislation, have been critical of Rivers Agency. Uh, we believe that they could have done more work in, in an initial audit of uh, the potential risks associated with reservoirs in Northern Ireland, uh, the potential for breaches and uh, the costs associated with uh, that, uh, with a breach and also with making sure that reservoirs are up to standard. We have been critical of Rivers Agency because we believe that work should have been done before they even brought a bill to the, the committee. Uh, so we have asked them to go back and to look at that again. Uh, we have three paragraphs within our explanatory memorandum on the financial aspects of this bill. Uh, Scotland, as they're going through their stages of the bill, have produced a document on the financial aspects. So that's the difference. Uh, so we've asked Rivers Agency to consider this again. You can find out more about the work of the committee and read the Reservoirs Bill Report in full on the Northern Ireland Assembly website.